So it's really important periodically to check in about why you're doing this. Why? It's not easy to learn something, to work with human beings. They're annoying, right? Or they can be. But guess what? That means you're annoying too, because you're a fellow one. <laughs> so thinking about that's really important, OK? You don't have to answer the question now. But generally, and I may have said this last time, is what the research says is knowing what to do doesn't get you to do it. Knowing why you're doing it is important. When you're asking your clients to make changes, you need to help them figure out why. Right? If someone says, you should exercise and go to the gym, OK, should. We don't like to be told what to do. You need to figure out why it matters to you. And when you're in that moment of like, do I put my sneakers on or do I go binge watch Netflix? Gilmore Girls, for example. Four new episodes are coming out. So when you're in that moment where the easiest thing to do would be Netflix, right? If you have Netflix or Amazon Prime or YouTube or whatever, why would you get up and go do something uncomfortable? Knowing you have to do it isn't enough. The why is what really, really matters. So thinking again about we're talking about you, but you're going to take this information and you're going to file it away, and it is going to give you empathy and compassion for your clients. So you're not furious when they don't do what you ask them to do. Basically, the, co the cool thing is not only to not be furious, but to expect that's what's going to happen. You predict it for your clients. You take away, and we'll talk about this later with motivational interviewing, you predict that these things are going to be hard, which then gives people permission to tell you the truth. People will lie to you because they want to get in trouble. They're expecting you to get mad at them, surprise them, 